Welcome to Legal Frameworks for South African Nurses. The following lecture will pay attention to what guides us as South African nurses. It will cover various topics like what are laws and acts and how are laws made. The lecture outcomes are as follows. Identify and describe the legislation, acts, policies, protocols, regulations, guidelines and directives that guide nurses in their daily nursing practices and functioning. Understand the formulation of laws and understand how law guides nurses. We begin by unpacking this lecture by understanding what is law. Laws and acts are developed by the government. Law is defined as a system of rules usually enforced through a set of institutions to regulate human conduct. It shapes politics, economics and society in many ways. Different types of laws, namely contract law, property law and trust law to name a few. For the purpose of this lecture, we will place focus on constitutional law. Constitutional law provides a framework for the creation of law, the protection of human rights and the election of political representatives. It's vital to note that law also raises important issues concerning equality, fairness and justice. The following diagram shows you how law is made in South Africa. It begins with a bill being introduced in the National Assembly or National Council of Provinces. This bill is then referred to the relevant committee and published in the Government Gazette for public comment. It is then debated in committee and a amended if necessary. It is submitted to a sitting of the House for further debate before a vote is taken. It is then transmitted to the other House for concurrence. It goes to the President for assessment and it is then created into an Act. This is function under the laws and constitutions of the country as well as any legal framework that is prescribed by SANG. Add to this, you also need to adhere to the rules and regulations of the organization that employed you. Therefore, your day-to-day -day decisions, actions and conduct are guided by all of the above. It is important for all nurses to know that any conduct will be managed based on the above mentioned laws, frameworks, rules and regulations. Your conduct could and will lead to interventions that is aimed at correcting your conduct. We have come to the end of lecture 1. Please see the following information source for more information.